morning guys happy Friday happy weekend I have got mr. Austin homesick today I don't think he's really sick so much as just like really tired well, I was sick. he doesn't feel good he didn't want to go to school so he didn't have any tests or anything so he stayed home um, and since he stayed home after I put Robbie on the school bus I actually went back to bed laid down I told myself I was gonna lay down for another hour and then I didn't get back up until 10 a.m. so um, that happened. I have been so tired lately, like in bed before 10 o'clock at night, wanting to sleep all day. Don't know what it is. I'm not pregnant. I know somebody's going to ask, not pregnant. Um, I think it's just been ridiculously stressful dealing with homework and school and craziness and just constant go, go, go. And so when I get downtime, I just crash. Anyways, I made myself a nice big breakfast this morning. Probably looks a little gross. It's just a scramble. It is zucchini and onions and one of those little um, steakum things. This soda. I always stick my soda back there. I'm also drinking a Diet Pepsi. And it probably looks crazy. Anyways, um, what else? Oh, a little bit of fat free cheese and just a couple of eggs. So, nice big hearty breakfast. I have to get my house cleaned up. Yes. Yesterday I said that I was going to clean all day so that I could take today as a lazy day and then instead I worked on other things yesterday so my house is still a mess. So I'm going to work on getting my house cleaned up. Austin says he'll help me a little bit so that's good. Um, I have to at least get the main areas, the kitchen and the living room tidied up. Um, and other than that I have no plans except to watch the TV from the week that I missed. We have been doing homework for hours and hours every night with Austin, um, not Austin, Robbie. He um, comes home from soccer practice, we have dinner, and then we sit down at 6.30 and work straight until bedtime on homework, trying to catch up on everything. He's been struggling big time this year, but it's because he got lazy and stopped doing his work, and so he had a bunch of missing assignments. So now we're trying to catch up on all of the assignments he's missing, plus keep up with his current assignments. So it's been a little crazy. We've been doing like four hour homework marathon sessions that probably contributes to me feeling tired because it's mostly algebra. He's struggling big time with algebra and equations and things, and I was never any good at algebra. So that age old question, I think I said this already, when are you ever gonna use this in your life? When you help your kids with their homework. I'm having to relearn everything that I haven't thought of in 15 years since I was in high school. It's probably been more than that, realistically. Um, but, we're getting it. Slowly. His grades are slowly coming up. He's just barely passing most of his classes and he's still a couple of, he still has a couple of classes that he's actually has a failing grade on, but we're working with his teachers for the most part. There's one teacher that is not apparently eager to work with me because she won't answer any of my emails or anything, but um, trying to, trying to get things back on track. So it's been a lot, a lot of homework and I don't know what got me off on this tangent, but um, been a lot of homework, a lot of hecticness, and I'm exhausted from it. Seriously do not know where I was going with that. So I'm going to go and eat my breakfast, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So Austin is feeling a lot better. He's working on some art projects, which is always nice. I love to see him doing something besides having his nose in an electronic device. He's drawing an American flag. Cool. I just brewed myself another cup of coffee because I'm still dragging ass this morning or this afternoon at this point. So I got a little bit of housework done, still have a lot to do, but just kind of taking it slow today. Can you show them the other projects you did? Did that for your teacher? Very nice. Cool. And Eric's home. Say hi. Hi. There he is. Um, he's got nothing going on at work. Sometimes on Fridays things are slow, he comes home, so. Whether or not he stays home is a different story, but for now he's here and we're just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna go drink this coffee and uh, I'll check in with you guys in so a bit. So we are headed out to go pick up Robbie from soccer practice. He got out a little bit early today. Usually it's 5.30, but today he said he needs to be picked up at 5. So we're off. You ready to go? I didn't know he'd get picked up at 5. I didn't know what time it was. That's because you've been too busy worried about your phone. He's been watching YouTube videos. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, and it is about 10 a.m. I've been up for a couple of hours just uh, working on computer stuff, trying to get all of my listings written for my new releases for tomorrow. Eric 
left bright and early this morning at 6 a.m. Or actually before 6 a.m., I think. Um, he took Austin and they went out to the woods to do some hunting. Um, I know some of you were pretty upset about the idea of my husband hunting when I talked about it in last weekend's vlog. I'm sorry if it offends you, but um, that's what my husband likes to do. He, um, you know, he's trying to provide for our family. We don't do, like, trophy hunting. We He hunts specifically just to feed our family. Um, so I apologize if that offends you, but that's what they're doing, and I want to be transparent and real with you guys. So they're out doing that. Austin is with him, like I said. Robbie's still sleeping. I'm going to get him up shortly. He's got some homework to work on this weekend and some, a few chores. Um, you know, just a few odds and ends. He needs to cut the grass outside because he didn't get around to that last weekend. He's been so busy between school and soccer. Um, and I've been trying to, you know, give him as much of a break as possible, but stuff still has to get done, you know. So he's going to do that and he's going to um, do his homework. And I'm going to work on getting the house cleaned up and, you know, linen laundry. Typical Saturday stuff. Nothing exciting. Um, my friend's daughter is coming over this evening so that I can watch her so her parents can work. Um, so Austin will have Destiny here to play with, which is awesome. He loves hanging out with his friends, so it works out. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Nothing super exciting this weekend. We don't have any major plans. Just kind of, you know, relaxing. So... I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and show you something or another. I don't know what, but, but we, you know, I'll check back in. Hey guys, so it's much later now. It is almost 7 o'clock and I'm still sitting in the same place that you guys saw me this morning. I have been sitting at my computer working all day long. I'm working on designing um, Christmas, Christmas kits. Um, so I've been working on a reformat and all of my Christmas stuff that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So um, it's taken me literally all day. Um, Eric was out in the woods with Austin this morning, you guys saw. They came back home, they had lunch, you know, all of that good stuff. And then Austin stayed here and Eric went back out into the woods. He was going to stay there until sunset. Um, and then he texted me about an hour after he left and he said, how about dinner and a movie instead? And I said, instead of what? He said, well, I can't exactly sit up in a tree when there's 20 miles an hour wind. Um because I'm getting seasick. So apparently the wind is causing the tree he was in to sway back and forth and it wasn't a very pleasant experience for him. So he left the woods. He is stopping to pick up a pizza and a movie from Redbox and we are going to have a little movie night and just kind of chill as a family until about um, bedtime when Destiny's going to come over. She's going to stay the night tonight. I'm going to babysit her tomorrow so her parents can work and um... Oh. Yeah, that's what's up. So I'll show you guys pizza and whatever movie Eric picked out when he gets here. All right, guys, so we've got pizza and crazy bread. And Eric picked out the latest in the Pirates of the Caribbean series, which we haven't seen, and the newest King Kong movie. So I, I think he did good. I'm actually really excited to see both of these. So we're going to eat and have our movie night. We're working on algebra homework today. Happy Sunday, six guys. Times one equals six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One oh eight. That should be the answer. Is it negative or positive? It's both. No, because you're not done yet, are you? Yeah, I am. Z equals eight and or one oh eight and negative one oh eight? Yep. You sure about that? Pretty sure. Positively. Alright, let's see. If I'm not, I give up. No. Yeah. You don't give up. Let's see if you're right. Z equals Empty set, you crazy. I just got an answer, so ha, you're wrong. Stupid. Uh, I don't think the computer's wrong. I think maybe you're wrong. So no. let's try it again. 